Compiled Contact Reports on Economics Contact Report 017. The second possibility is that of calculating combinatorial seeing, as it is also done in part by you and is known under the wrong name or the wrong designation clairvoyance. This kind of future view is also doubtful and erroneous with us and does not exclude false observations and false descriptions. So when I make a prediction for your homeland, this factor must not go unnoticed. Switzerland's economic situation will continue to deteriorate and culminate in an evil climax with high unemployment, whereby honorable citizens commit confused acts and breaches of the law. Suicides out of this situation will not be uncommon, and the whole thing will carry itself into the third millennium. Contact Report 136, uh... Not only that the Secret Service and military have criminal elements and trustworthy friends in many nations of Earth, who they, as ever, simply brutally and bloodthirstily butcher as needed and to reach their goals. No. They also have, again like the USA through their intrigues, also understood how to make the appropriate friends in the governments, the economic concerns and banks and so forth, or even creep into these themselves, so that their power has already grown to the degree that this cannot be grasped and perceived by Earth humans anymore. Contact Report 205 So everything not only relates to military and secret service machinations, but also to medical and economic research. Thus the whole thing becomes even worse. What will further come? Will everything continue in the same style, or are there actually positive, progressive facts to be mentioned? Unfortunately, the entire evil will continue because the lust for power of many humans is limitless, especially when they become governing and ruling. Even worse things will still appear because many humans will not become more rational in their thoughts and feelings, as well as in their ideas, plans, and desires and in their actions, but rather they will degenerate and will cause much harm. Also, with respect to genetic engineering, which will be abused by the insane and irresponsible ones. But this does not mean that the research relating to this will not also bring many benefits for nature and the humans as well as for wildlife. This cannot be excluded but is a natural consequence of the development. Just like with anything else, there will be dark, crazy, and irresponsible elements involved in this who will abuse everything for evil, greedy, avaricious, and sectarian purposes. But we have spoken well enough about this at other times. In addition to the actual genetic engineering, as it is known to be operated, there will still arise other, very progressive, and positive things, such as stem cell technology, which will achieve great progress around the mid-90s and will lead to much success after the turn of the millennium, whereby, in the course of time, many sorrows of the Earth humans can be removed. Contact Report 206 it will be very bad with the Swiss national pride, namely in the year 2001, when the Swiss air will be devastated by irresponsible managers and administrators, etc., by mismanagement, megalomania, inflated salaries and severance amounts for outgoing leaders, as well as just as excessive salaries for personnel and pilots, etc., and by megalomaniac business connections and business interests, which are reflected in an economic criminal form, as one would actually have to say, although the necessary capital will be missing for this. But unfortunately, it will be such that those who are responsible will not be held accountable when everything has gone so far. Rather, others who are innocent will be held financially responsible for this. Falsely, also much guilt will be awarded for an event that will occur on the 11th of September. 2001 in America, when fundamentalist radical extremists who hate Americans will murder thousands of humans in an act of terrorism, about which I may not mention the closer details officially, but rather only tell you confidentially. Contact Report 207 That is a word. There probably is not any more to be said in addition. Nevertheless, a word is still necessary namely that all German-speaking human beings 
should be mindful not to let their precious language be undermined by the English and American languages. Thus, all American and English words and terms should, if possible, be discarded from usage, namely in the everyday use of the language as well as in the schools, in politics and economics, in the media, and wherever English or American words and terms etc. appear. This should be the duty of every human who speaks the German language because this is, indeed and without any doubt, the most valuable language on the earth. Anyone who does not respond to such extends his or her hand to the Americans for the criminal act of the undermining and eradication of the valuable German language. Contact Report 212 Unfortunately, the earth humans do not let themselves be taught by reason and logic. Reason and logic make no difference to them, as also real love and brotherly love, as responsibility, peace, freedom, harmony, and equalizedness. Even in families all these high values are disowned, and everything that should be treated with dignity and respect is despised and abused. Parents beat their children, as also husbands beat up their wives or wives maltreat their husbands. And just as this happens in many families or in other human communities, it also occurs in the workplaces, where hatred, envy, and harassment often cause the greatest misery. This likewise applies to economic life and, of course, to politics, as well as to religious centers, like in monasteries and sects, where the monks or believers conduct themselves hypocritically among one another, with the superiors constantly trying to gain advantages for themselves, and presuming themselves as better than their fellow men, fellow believers, and fellow monks etc. Contact Report 213 What is actually with the Beast 666, which functions in a form of prophecy as an evil dictatorship, which should come from Belgium? With this old customary prophesied beast, which will bear the number of evil and negativity, it concerns in the coming time the so-called European Union, in short called the EU, which will be a European-wide dictatorship that will be decided on and established with a treaty on the 1st of November 1993 with a so-called Maastricht Treaty. Then, along with this, there will be created a political and economic union of the member states of the advancing European Economic Community, the EEC, respectively the European Community, the EC whose objectives will be the promotion of social and economic progress, with no internal boundaries existing anymore, and the creation of an economic and monetary union. In addition, what will eventually be strived for later is a common foreign affairs policy and a common security policy of the member states, as well as a common defense policy. It will also be planned for the citizens of the member states to create a European Union citizenship. Also, the areas of the military and the judiciary, as well as road transport and agriculture, as well as the industrial economy, should ultimately be determined by the powerful figures of the EU, which will have its residence of power in Brussels, Belgium. But the whole thing will be in no wise democratic, but will assume dictatorial forms, where the powerful ones negotiate and make decisions among themselves, whereby many freedoms of the citizens and countries still remaining will be limited or will even disappear. Both the EU member states and their citizens will lose many freedoms and will have to fall to the dictatorial oppression of the mighty EU. But what will especially be evil is that even the powerful figures of the EU member states will completely and consciously howl in justice with the wolves. And these will also be the ones who, with false and misleading pro-propaganda, will entice many citizens of their countries to join the EU. And since the citizens will be misled, they will no longer be strong in their own logical and sensible decision-making. Consequently, there must be talk of a dictatorial compulsion when, in the coming years and decades, the citizens become enticed to an EU accession. Before that, also Switzerland will not be spared, for after the turn of the millennium at the latest, strong efforts of the irresponsible ones will occur, 
in order to force an EU accession. Contact report 214. That is to be well understood. But how will the further situation of the world develop with regard to the economy and unemployment? You previously talked about unemployment and the economic collapse, which will be carried well into the third millennium, whereby only after the years 2003, 2006, and in some cases even later, will improvements and, thus, positive changes occur. Does this negative prognosis still remain valid? Unfortunately, yes, because through mismanagement in all economic sectors and industries, as well as in the governments and in all their administrations, unemployment, as new previews have proven, will be carried far into the new millennium by incompetent managers. This also applies to the indebtedness of the states, firms, and corporations, by which means many of these will change their entire structure through mergers and detrimental sales, and many will fall into bankruptcy and be dissolved. More and more, incapable, inexperienced, irresponsible, reckless, and wanton elements, which are out for their own profit, will unfortunately seize power in the firms, corporations, and governments, and these elements will be too young, too naive, and absolutely unfit to be able to fill in their positions responsibly. More and more too young and simple-minded people will be launched into high and responsible positions to which they cannot do justice, however. Thus, positions of power will be occupied by those who do not know how to handle them responsibly and they will abuse these positions just for their own advantage, and according to their confused thoughts and ideas, namely up to treason, and they will drive everything into ruin through this. And this will be valid for the governments, as well as for the firms of the economy, and for the small and large corporations. In addition, this will likewise be valid for the healthcare system, particularly for the hospitals and their doctors but also to the independent medical and dental professions, who, more and more, will conduct themselves entirely for profit and will pursue mismanagement, by which means premiums for health insurance will necessarily increase to a great extent. Contact Report 215 Since the Second World War, the thoughts, feelings, and actions of the human being of the Earth have changed much towards the positive and good. But all that achieved is not enough in my opinion, as the great transformation towards the better has not been achieved yet, neither by the mighty of this world, nor all of humankind of the earth itself. In the years gone by, you have made many predictions and calculations of probability, as well as mentioned prophetic facts concerning the economic, military, and political situation on earth, whereby I was requested to spread this information, which I indeed have done. Governments and newspapers, radio stations as well as TV stations, and many private persons worldwide, were informed by me. But the entire effort did not achieve anything, because up till now humankind has carried on in the old manner, and has paid no attention whatsoever to prophecies, predictions, and calculations of probability. And the same will most likely be the case in the future, when I receive permission from you in the coming time to spread the prophecies of Enoch for the third millennium. But nevertheless, I feel that Enoch's message for the future must be made known and distributed, because somehow it may yet bear fruit. The USA will set out against the eastern countries ahead of all other financial states, and simultaneously she will have to defend herself against the eastern intruders. In all, America will play the most decisive role, when in the guise to strive for peace and to fight against terrorism, she invades many countries of the earth, bombs and destroys everything, and brings thousandfold deaths to the populations. The military politics of the USA will likewise know no limits, as neither will their economic and other political institutions, which will be focused on building and operating a world police force, as it is the case already for a long time. But that will not be enough because under the guise of a so-called peaceful globalization, American politics will strive for absolute world domination of economic form. And this will point towards the possibility that a third world war could develop from it, if the human beings as a whole 
will not finally become bearers of rationality and undertake the necessary steps against the insane machinations of their governments and military powers, as well as their secret services, and call a halt to the power of the irresponsible who have forsaken their responsibility in all areas. If this does not happen, many small and great nations will lose their independence and their cultural identity, and will be beaten down, because the USA will gain predominance over them, and bring them down under her rule with evil gavalt. 17. Unfortunately, the Earth humans have generally assigned top ranks or top status to political, economic, scientific, military, material, and financial values. These, however, are unvalues that bring tremendous damage through which the well-being in physical and psychological aspects is impaired, as well as the consciousness-related development of the individual and even of the whole of humankind. As a result, the true sages and philosophers have vanished, making room for the wannabes with respect to wisdom and philosophy, who frequently inundate the world and humankind with horrendous nonsense that has nothing to do with reality, correctness, and conformity to laws of the spiritual energies and the creation. All of these unvalues must be removed in order to place the true sages back in their proper place in society. The opportunity must be provided for these few who are presently on earth to emerge from their hidden solitude so that they can instruct the human beings. In so doing, however, all those must be pushed into the background who spread unreasonable sectarian teachings and principles through which earth humans have been pushed away from the real truth and have been misled. Contact Report 219 if it is possible, I would still like to know a few things about the future, namely about the boom in the financial management of the companies and nations throughout the whole world. What is to be said about this? The boom is almost over, and everything is approaching a great decline, with steadily rising unemployment in all industrialized nations of the world. This is due to a steadily increasing irresponsibility and mismanagement of the responsible persons who will fill their pockets with money and, through this, create enormous mountains of debt. The managers, boards of directors and owners of firms will pay out millions of sums to themselves, which they will declare as remunerations or as settlements, and this already happens now and will happen more and more. Monstrous mountains of debt arise from these financial distributions, which will ultimately amount to hundreds of billions of Swiss francs or U.S. dollars, and, in the new millennium, even euros. But not only this form of economic crime will occur in the coming time, but also that which will exist as fraud and theft, as well as false accounting and large-scale accounting fraud. This also applies to the rest of the financial economy and the stock market operations which will suffer tremendous precipitations and losses, especially after the turn of the millennium, which overall will basically be due to the incredible criminal and global mismanagement of an economic and financial form. Through the economic criminals, the nations and the firms will, in large numbers, be driven into ruin, to collapse, and into insolvency and, thus, into bankruptcy and there will not be any responsible ones who will confront all this criminal mismanagement because everyone is either too trusting, naive, or too lowly intelligent to recognize and grasp the truth, or because they themselves are out for millions in order to redevelop themselves thereby in a criminal kind and wise. And since no responsible person will actually be able to be found, it will be such that a collapse of the financial economy and the industry takes place, which means that many economic enterprises and industrial enterprises will merge, lose their names, or change, and, in the end, be dissolved, for the financial resources seep away completely. Also, the financial stock exchange will experience very bad times in the coming years. But not until the third millennium will the worst stock exchange periods drive the shareholders nearly to despair when the profits dwindle away in billions of dollars and Swiss francs, etc., and only bring the stock exchange paper's weak values. 
and also in the upcoming European Union, there will be a lot of trouble when a new currency, called the euro, is introduced. Through the introduction of the euro, the prices for all goods and food will suddenly be raised considerably in all nations of the European Union, through which the human being suddenly will not have enough money for their livelihood, etc. In particular, it will hit those people who have to live on a small pension and who, through the criminal and nationally unauthorized increase in food prices, etc., no longer have a livelihood. But the state leaders and others in charge will be blind to this, because they will not care about the misery of the poor, and they will have made their own dime through criminally inflated wages, clandestine profiteering and other illicit things and machinations, as you once described the siphoning off of money. Contact Report 220 Thanks are neither appropriate now nor later. It is part of my duty, as you will find out soon enough. If you permit, I would like to ask another question regarding the financial crisis and economic crisis and the breakdowns of the corporations, etc. through mismanagement, huge settlements, and salaries in the hundreds of thousands and millions of financial sums for managers and boards of directors, etc. Is it not also true that the working class will go along with the greater demands for compensations, and will also contribute to the whole disaster, whereby the workers' organizations or labor unions will probably also contribute a lot to it? That is of correctness, for that will actually be the case. Nevertheless, this evil also applies to the high state officials and leaders who have received outrageously huge and extensively rendered remunerations and pensions since time immemorial, as I know from our investigations of a related form. And this rendering of the remunerations of the leaders and administrators, etc., will be shamelessly boosted further in the coming time, while various layers of workers will only have pitiful incomes and livelihoods, and will sometimes even live in bitter poverty. Contact Report 225 Good. Should this prophecy be published, perhaps, despite your view that this would still be too early, as you have mentioned? My view corresponds to the opinion of the High Council. Its advice is that the time for this will be given, at the earliest, at the turn of the millennium. Until then, you should not disclose it publicly. Officially, you should first disseminate it after the 1st of January, 2003. This will then also be the time when you should make an appeal to the governments of the Earth, with a warning that World War III could occur if worldwide, politically peaceful ways are not immediately taken and followed. You should then also point out that this great threat is especially posed by America, Israel, Iraq, and Palestine. And in particular, America will be the greatest evil, which wants to establish itself militarily and economically in all nations worldwide. And among other things, it gives its reasons for this that particularly in the Islamic world, great and powerful terrorist organizations arise, which cause death, terror, downfall, and destruction all over the world, and which particularly target America. But many other countries will also be concerned. But also Israel and Palestine as well as Iraq will be in this evil game, whereby the main guilt for all evils will have to be found with the warmongering and belligerent ringleaders George W. Bush, Yasser Arafat, Saddam Hussein, and Ariel Sharon, as I already explained at earlier times. Nevertheless, if everything still does not turn to the better after the entrance of the new millennium, then World War III, according to the prophecies of Enoch, will probably be unavoidable in the year 2006, upon which two-thirds of Earth humanity will be deprived of their lives. Contact Report 230 In the future, the harmonic music will be largely substituted by unbelievably disharmonic noise, which is called modern music style. This results in a total disharmony that seizes countless individuals, namely young, adolescents, and adults. Tremendously large disharmonic noise events of this kind will take place in the future, whereby in many cases all decency and self-esteem will be trampled underfoot. Many will become criminals in order to indulge in this dignityless activity, and the addiction to drugs 
and the criminality associated with it, will also increase to an immeasurable extent worldwide, as will the unemployment and prostitution, which will be shamelessly publicly advertised in the press and on television. All this in addition to the fact that porn prostitution will become a state-approved trade and will be taxed like public prostitution. However, that will not be the whole story, because the language will also deteriorate, since the languages of the world will be Americanized by the disgraceful might of U.S. America. Since the First World War, the U.S. American secret plan has been aimed at eradicating the German language in particular, and that in connection with the secret U.S. American world domination plans. By the whole disharmony, however, the German language with all its varieties and dialects is contaminated by a wrong stressing of the words in the spoken sentences, which furthers the whole disharmony even more, and which will also exert an extremely negative influence on the rulers, the company leaders, the economic magnates, and the military, etc. As a result of all this, New wars will occur as well as enormous state, economy and private debts, economic collapses due to irresponsible mismanagement, exploitations of many companies by their managers, bankruptcies into which companies will be driven by managers and economic mismanagement, which will lead to a tremendously high unemployment worldwide and under certain circumstances can cause an economic and state's collapse in all industrialized countries. Contact Report 238 France, America, and the Soviet Union, etc. will soon no longer be the only nuclear powers on the Earth. That can become very dangerous for the otherwise already damaged security of the whole world, in which also the entire environmental destruction and the destruction of life as well as the prevalence of crime and its slow worldwide power production in politics and economics is involved. The drug mafia in particular is making tremendous progress in this respect. For some time now, corporate criminals or similar organizations of the most diverse criminal levels have been active all over the world in such a manner that they buy into well-known hotels and hotel groups, into factories of all branches of production, into transport businesses, into medical production and weapons industry, as well as into the food industry and everything else that is possible, if they do not immediately acquire everything through a purchase and control themselves down to the last detail. Criminality is slowly moving towards seizing all economic and political power, with the responsible governments of all the countries of the world completely blind and unaware. Even in the new federation of the former Soviet Union, the time will come within a few months for the new Union states to become independent. Contact Report 238 But this knowledge is of no use to me, because I am not a governor, but only a simple citizen. The rulers work according to their own system and maneuver the world and the people into roaring misery. If I think only once of the financial economy that is run here in Switzerland by the Federal Council, through which the state becomes more and more indebted, then the howling misery could befall you. Switzerland's entire state financial economy shows that those responsible in this sector have no ability whatsoever to manage this important part of the state properly. If I were at the helm, I would pull Switzerland out of debt within a short space of time through rigorous measures, which would also reduce the citizens' taxes. But I am not at the helm, and so the financial industry continues to sabotage the path of debt. Your method, which works with absolute certainty, is known to us and we have once made calculations in this respect which confirm your words. If you would handle the financial economy of the Swiss state, your home country would soon be an absolutely debt-free country, an unprecedented model for all states on the earth. We know that with absolute certainty. For once I agree with you, without feeling praised. The only difficulty with such a financial administration job would be that I would have to have an absolutely free hand and be able to manage everything as I am used to, without anyone tampering with me. But the fact is, that our finance state twerps do not know anything about finance. Because otherwise, they would not constantly conjure up new mountains of debt and invent new harassment taxes to fill the holes of their inability, instead of being properly budgeted and freeing the citizens from a part of the oppressive taxes. I feel that you are saddened by this state unevenness. You can say that out loud, and unevenness is good. To put it mildly, it is a damned mess and exploitation of citizens 
which is carried out by the responsible financial geniuses. Your words are true because the responsible human beings are really incompetent, at least as far as the matter of finance is concerned. This is also explained by our scientists, who deal with the terrestrial governmental financial economic problems. Unfortunately, your home country is no exception. But let me now speak of something else, because the time is already very advanced. Unfortunately, it's no longer enough to explain to you all those things that you would like to know about the future, which is why I have to postpone many of these concerns to a later time in order to be able to explain them to you after all. I also wanted to explain a few things about the vice of smoking, at least in a nutshell, because I think some words should be said about it. But first I would like to anticipate certain events that will happen in the near future. However, I am already talking about the time of the coming year 1992, in the course of which some important events will take place. Thus, it results that draft laws are worked out, which lead to the final abolition of the death penalty in Switzerland, which is at present still legally anchored for the military inhuman penal regulation and application of punishment. Further legal changes will also change the situation with regard to the inadequate handling of riots by racial haters, xenophobes, and asylum seekers, etc., because work is being done to make such machinations and riots punishable by law. Unfortunately, however, the law is handled incorrectly, so that it will be considered more as a muzzle for those who tell the truth than that racial hatred and xenophobia are actually fought. Contact Report 243 Thus, in the coming period, entire regions will simply be emptied of human beings as they flee, while the countries to which the refugees flee will slowly overflow with humans and fall into economic hardship. This will still be getting much worse in a more distant future time, especially then, when the severe, expectable climatic catastrophes in the southern and northern hemispheres appear. This flight of human beings from their homelands to the economically and politically better-placed states entails major dangers and leads further to a worldwide catastrophe. In order to counter this catastrophe and the looming dangers, there is only one possibility. However, it is precisely this one which is so fiercely combated by those who are softened and incapable of life and false humanists, namely, that the countries are sealing their borders for refugees of all kinds and are rigorously taking action to stop the waves of refugees, uh, only persons whose lives are directly threatened by religious or political machinations in their homeland, meaning direct targeting of the refugee person, that is to say personal, may be regarded as refugees. But whoever calls for and promotes something else based on false humanist justifications endangers the continuance of his or her own folk and the economy and security of his or her own country. If refugees of all kinds, and in huge numbers, can continue to escape into economically and politically better-off countries without their actual personal life being threatened, this leads to an intermixing of folks to an endless extent with the tragic consequences that the already worldwide occurring softening and false humanization of the human beings becomes rampant to such a degree that the majority of humankind will soon become incapable of life. Life incapable life forms, however, will inevitably within a short time be dominated by terrorism and dictatorship. Contact Report 248 And in only 9,500 years there were then born another roughly 500 million humans. And after that, since the Middle Ages, during just another 500 years, the Earth person actually managed to increase his population, by the year 1994, to an incredible 5.8 billion 5 billion 800 million humans, from which all the crazy consequences of global destruction result. The climate, atmosphere, ozone layer and other protective layers, which the terrestrial scientists do not know of yet, and thus, cannot talk about. Fauna and flora, as well as human life and the planet itself, drive towards destruction by the human's guilt, a fact that has already become evident. Nevertheless, there are still the irresponsible idiots who thoughtlessly assert that, 
On the one hand, the Earth still will not be overpopulated for a long time and could still carry and nourish several billion more humans and that, on the other hand, all the elementary disasters appearing worldwide, the earthquakes, air and environmental pollution, tempests, floods, heat spells as well as cold spells, typhoons, hurricanes, gales and tornadoes, snowstorms and blizzards, volcanic eruptions, landslides and mudslides, and so on and so on, would have nothing to do with overpopulation. A brainless short-sightedness, rejection of responsibility, and a misjudgment of reality, as well as a playing down of the truth by criminals of all backgrounds, starting from the so-called average citizens up to the scientists and powerful economic figures and governments, who make their profits from it. What's more is that besides the obvious dangers for all life and the entire existence of the planet, still other dangers threaten, which the scientists do not have any idea of yet, or else they conceal such threats if these are known to them. In reference to this European Union, I can only give you information that is based on the statements and findings of our political scientists, whom I, nevertheless, support wholeheartedly. The idea of such a union, which should ultimately be far-reaching and include all peoples, is very ancient and was first realized by Henoch, whereby a common and planetary economic basis arose, which led to uniform balance and prosperity. What is going on with this European Union, however, has nothing to do with Hanok's system, for instead of creating unity and stabilization as well as assimilation and revision of existing laws and regulations, there are impossible, inexpedient, liberty-restricting, and new laws that are of low intelligence and regulations arising from incompetent politicians who establish themselves in and through Brussels as rulers of the European Union, and who characterize themselves more and more as despotic and dictatorial, from which in the end a total control of the individual can result, which is already secretly striven for by certain elements. The secret idea is that the powerful figures can consolidate themselves in Brussels and become so dominant that all of Europe and, one day, also the rest of the world will fall under their dictatorial control, which is vehemently denied, of course. But in truth, secret ideas and plans relating to this already exist among certain elements, in order to create a totalitarian dictatorship under the exclusive control of the rulers in Brussels. Thus, whoever joins the European Union goes into the lion's mouth, as a terrestrial proverb says. And if the people and national governments blindly continue to trust the words and machinations of Brussels and do not draw the right conclusions from it, then the dark and terrible truth of an impending dictatorship will prove itself to be true. Many Earth humans have also already recognized that, which is why they also often rise up in arms, but without great success. That is known to us. Contact Report 251 Later this obligation of silence was also taken away from me by Asket, Sim Yase and Quetzal, and also from you, Ptah. But now that the year 1995 has begun, and you have allowed me to talk about it now, I would like to reveal my knowledge in the manner that is still familiar to me. In the not-too-distant future, the Earth is threatened by the melting of the polar caps, as well as another severe economic crisis, which in turn will spread to the entire world. And once again a world war will threaten the Earth and the entire human race by their unreasonableness. The Fourth World War. Contact Report 260 With that, you are absolutely right, of course. Moreover, I also did not have in mind to take up anything of the idiotic alarmists and scaremongers of these irresponsible ones, for I think that there is already enough anxiety among the people of this Earth. But still... It is a fact that the crazy preachers of the end of the world are experiencing an economic boom just this year, especially since 1998 is a threefold year that, when divided by three, yields 666, which, in turn, is contained in the number 1998 three times. This, of course, gives occasion for the doomsday prophets and sectarians, etc., to bring everything negative and bad down from the heavens or up from the imaginary hell and the fact that the reputed year 2000 stands right before the door, this still contributes a lot to the gloom. 
and especially in this respect. No one talks about or no one has a clue that our calendar is not correct at all and that the year 2000 is long over. And indeed, since the year 1996, or rather since 1993, depending on which historically authoritative beginning of the Christian era is taken, whereby according to my calculation, the year 1996 must have actually been the year 2000 AD. Contact Report 270E. Quetzal's statements were indeed a prophecy, but they were to a certain extent foresighted, which also revealed the assassination that the Pope should have succumbed to. But in fact, as you mentioned, at that time the political as well as the economic and generally consciousness-based psychic factors of humanity on the earth changed so positively in every respect, and with it the entire world, that there was a change in the line of the future, which for the time being postponed all events into the future, or made events which should have happened or should still happen ineffective according to old prophecies. This does not mean, however, that all prophecies are null and void, but still exist to a large extent, so that they can still be fulfilled if the humanity of the earth does not carry out a positive change, through which changes are brought about in a positive sense, whereby, of course, the prophecies change or are not fulfilled. In the case of Pope John Paul II, as well as with regard to the further prophecies and the entire world, it is now simply the case that certain things no longer come true, while other facts of the prophecies simply shift into the future, and thus to other times. The positive change in world events, and thus also the consciousness-psyche transformation of the earthly humanity, was the Pope's good fortune in 1981, so that he remained in office until today and survived the assassination attempt.